Hello everyone, this is Glenn Glorioso and we are again along the Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is coming from the 16th chapter of John, verses 5 to 11. We heard it, what goes up must come down. The ascension of Jesus is necessary so that the dissension of the Holy Spirit could happen. There are some titles attributed to the Holy Spirit. Advocate, Kakampi, Helper, Katulong, Paraclete, Paracletus in Greek, which means somebody who comes alongside, a companion, Kasama, Kaagapay. In the Bible version that I'm using, the term that was used in verse 7 was Counselor. Back in grade school, when someone gets too rowdy, we scare him by saying, do you want to be sent to guidance? To us, the guidance office is one notch scarier than the scolding of a teacher. And who is at the guidance office? A counselor. The dictionary defines a counselor as somebody who's trained to give guidance on personal, social, and psychological problems. It is therefore a good reminder for us today about this special role of the Holy Spirit in our daily Christian living. It is a blessing so powerful, but many of us are missing out. Les miserable. Jesus always knew the miserable state of our life in this valley of tears. And in his faithfulness, he made sure that we are not left as orphans. As Christians, let's not forget that we are never alone. Let us remember that we are not without help. The term counselor also refers to a lawyer as in legal counsel, a defense lawyer, an advocate of truth who defends us against the oppressor. In verse eight, Jesus said, when the counselor comes, he will convince us all about three things, sin, righteousness, and judgment. We heard the word judgment. What does it tell us? The counselor is also a prosecutor who indicts the unbelieving world. Our God is a God of endless mercy, boundless mercy. But let it not be forgotten that our God is also a God of justice. So we better catch him now while he's still a counselor to us. In summary, Connectiveness to the Holy Spirit is the key. Truth is the vernacular. And the message is hope. Tomorrow, we shall be celebrating Pentecost Sunday. It's the birthday of the church. Let us prepare our hearts well. What goes up must come down. In other words, where pride used to be, there should now be humility. Let's have a devotion to the Holy Spirit because He dispenses the gifts that equip us in our God-given mission. The Holy Spirit will renew the face of the earth and it will start with you and me. I tell myself today, Glenn, be renewed. And I'm admonishing you now, be renewed today. We end our time of reflection with a prayer, again, coming from a line of a song entitled, Your Heart Today. And when I've done all that I could, yet there are hearts I cannot move. Lord, give me hope that I may be your heart today. Amen. 
Let's spread the good news of hope. Please forward this reflection to your family and friends. And may the Holy Spirit breathe a fresh outpouring upon you and set you on fire. God bless.